Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me again this week. So this week I am going to be doing a new styling video and I don't know why it's taking me so long to do this, but, but it has, okay? I don't have a good excuse, it just has. And so this week I'm going to be doing a styling method with a bowl. So anyways, Swavy Curly Courtney and Power Dami on Instagram they have, they've been the main ones that I've followed for this, and there's a few others that I've watched. There's different variations of the bowl method, but those are the two that I'm really following. Basically, the steps that Power Dami did, she was the one who created this method, I guess. And then I'm going to be using the same products that Swavy Curly Courtney used, which are these Curlsmith products. So, if you want to see how all this works out, please keep watching. Okay, curl friends, let's just get started. I have my hair soaking wet, and literally I was dripping my way over here. So it's just stopped dripping now, but I'm going to put in my leave-in. I'm using the same products that Curly Courtney used in hers. And because this is going to be watered down, I'm not super afraid of this being too much, but normally with um, Curlsmith leave-ins, I do not like to use a lot. I'm going to rope these products in because that's what Curly Courtney did and then also Power by Dami. So, and then I'm going to scrunch these products. And I don't know if you can hear that squishing, you should be able to, but that is all the water and a little bit of product in my hair. I am going to flip to the side and I do feel like my back is kind of stuck or my hair back here is kind of stuck so I'm going to spray a little water after I dry my hands okay. and then I'm going to scrunch on this side I'm not supposed to be doing a fierce scrunch because we're just trying to get the product in. We're not trying to squeeze water out necessarily. Okay, now at this point, I don't have much in my bowl, but we're gonna try dunking this again. Did I get all that into the ends of my hair? Okay, my hair did take it back up pretty good. This method requires a lot of scrunching. Then I'm going in with my Curlsmith foam. This is hard to do with wet hands, but I'm feeling like maybe I shouldn't dry my hands off because it might take away from some of the water. Okay, I'm going with about that much, about four pumps. I'm just gonna rope that in. To squash that all in I'm not really getting I'm telling you my hair was soaking wet but I'm not getting a lot of stuff coming in my bowl I don't know what I could do differently but I do have nice clumps as far as I can see very nice juicy curl clumps so far
Okay, this is what I have in my bowl. It's not really that much. Maybe if I tip it, you can see a little bit there. So I am just going to try to dump my hair in that. Try to get to absorb it all. And it picked most of that up, which like I said, it wasn't much. I am going to go back in with a little more water, I think. And then I'm going in with the Curl Smith Styling Souffle. I haven't used this product in quite some time, and I'm a little nervous, but I went in with it was probably about a dime sized amount. Once again, we're going to rope this in. Because this is so watered down, I don't think I should have too much trouble. But it's not that this is a bad product when I say I'm kind of nervous. I've just had very mixed results and results I wasn't really expecting and I haven't experimented with a whole lot so um, yeah okay I'm gonna turn to the side scrunch that in some more I feel like the water is running down my arm more than it is in the bowl and I don't know what I can do about that have any of you tried this method I'm curious do you have that issue with the water running down your hand more than in the bowl? Okay, I've got a little bit here, not a whole lot, but we're gonna dump my head back into that. hair seems to pick that all up. I think the main purpose for this is to just make sure that you're styling with soaking wet hair. I don't think it's necessarily to to keep mixing your hair around in the milky goodness or like the, the ingredient goodness mixed with water. Um, I mean that's a benefit but I think the primary reason why the original creator, the Power Dummy, um, I think the reason why she did this was to really style with soaking wet hair. And from what I understand, she did it in her shower, which makes sense. And I'm not sure if she had a bowl then, but because she doesn't want to just like let it go all over her floor, let her have a bowl. I'm going to dry my hands off a little bit so I can function, I feel like. Then I have two shower caps that I'm going to put on just to try to keep all of this in there. But let's take a look at the curl clumps right now. Um, they are very juicy. They are very thick. And usually when I have such thick curl clumps, I like to break them up a little bit. But we're just going to stick with this and see what what my results are going to be. Okay, one cap on. And my other one. All right. I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes and then I will show you the rest. But I also wanted to show you my bowl. There's really not much in here. I got this clear bowl for you. Don't worry, I didn't spend too much. It was just the Dollar Tree. But I got this clear bowl so you could see all this 
goodness that I expected to be in here, all this product and water, and there really ain't much. So sorry for the disappointing show. I feel like it was a disappointment, but you know, it, we're still following with experiment as best as we can. So like I said, I'm gonna let this um, plot for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll show you the rest of the steps. Okay, this has been about 10, and 10 to 15 minutes, and we're gonna see what we have so far. Oh, it feels good to get this wet shower cap off my ears. Okay. Whew. I don't really like to sit with wet hair on my head, but I have found that since my hair cut, that my hair has actually done really well with wet plopping. I don't like it, but it's done well for me. So this is what my curls are looking like. Nice, juicy clumps. I don't really see any frizz that I can see at least right now to speak of which is a great start so now we're just going to gently micro plop with my t-shirt towel that I have here and it's already pretty damp which is what power dummy and I think curly Courtney said but I know power dummy said not to try to squeeze too much water out so I'm just very gently plopping Making sure it's not stuck on the back of my head, which so far so good. Now I do expect since my hair is quite wet that it will take longer to diffuse. So I'll try to keep an eye on how long it takes. But I never really time my diffusing anyways. But anyways, I like I said, I'll keep an eye on how long it takes me. Okay, girlfriends, so let's see what we have here. These are my diffused results after doing the bowl method. And these are my curls. Is it this side or, oh, it's this side. Can you take a look at this one? I mean, it's pretty, pretty tightly wound, but look how much it encompasses. Like this is a huge chunk of my root here. Huge curl clump. And I do feel like I have very large curl clumps all over all over my hair um at this point I do feel like some of this that had this is my weaker area right here right by my temple area and it's not really curling that much I guess it's not it's not quite as bad as I thought but I had seen tighter curls my hair does feel dry like not dried out but like no more water left in my hair but I know from experience that it must not be completely because my hair will continue to probably spring up throughout the remainder of this day and into tomorrow. So I know that my hair must still be losing a little bit more water as it goes on because my curls haven't reached their full springing potential I feel like for this. And, but I have a couple things to say about that. There is no cast, there was, there was no cast, there is no cast. And my hair feels very, very soft. And I'm seriously questioning the amount of hold that my hair is going to have. So I don't know if I can even come back and show you tomorrow's results. But this is this is bugging me. I have to I have to get that fixed. So I am going to kind of fluff up my hair with some oil and separate some of these curls and just try to get it looking a little bit more like a little bit more like I like my hair. So um, we're going to do that. I did choose a little bit more of a heavier serum, in my opinion. This is the Aussie Miracle Moist Intense Hydration Jojoba Oil. And this is just a little bit thicker. So since I don't have a cast, I feel like this is going to help protect my curls a little bit more, give it a little extra barrier from the elements, the heat and the humidity. It is supposed to get pretty hot and it is supposed to rain tomorrow. So we're just, and I'm going to be out in the elements some today. So we are going to do this. Oh, before I put the oil on though, I will say that I have a lot more frizz, like root frizz up here. And I don't feel like I really got much product up here, which it would be the cause of the root frizz. And I feel like when I was doing the method, the bull method, that while I put a lot of the product in, I roped it in and dunked it again 
in the bowl, nothing really got much up here. When I was scrunching, that's about the only time that the product got up in my roots, I feel like. And that was very watered down and it wasn't much. So I'm not seeing this lasting long term for me, but who knows, maybe it'll surprise me. And so now we're going to get into scrunching or we're going to get into fluffing up my hair, separating the curls and all that good stuff. I just smooth this over. I'm going to actually flip upside down and do most of this and then probably separate a little bit more right side up. Okay, when I took that curl apart, it really, I felt like it broke up. It lost lost a lot of its curl. It almost started to look frizzy there for a little bit. Now, these are still some big curl clumps. Still some really juicy ringlets. But let me get the center part out of here. So as I was saying, these are some really juicy curl clumps, some really nice thick ringlets. And if you like that sort of thing, this might be work well for you. I feel like this would work really well for people with a little bit looser curl pattern than mine and uh, more of like that wavy or 3A. I definitely have 3A in my hair, but I also have some 3B. And I feel like where the 3B and tighter curl patterns are, it doesn't work as well with, at least for my hair. Another thing that I think has affected my hair differently than maybe some of the other influencers who have tried this is that while my hair was soaking wet, I had just come out putting my head underneath the, the faucet and it was soaking wet. I carried my um, t-shirt towel underneath my hair to keep it from dripping while I walked over here. But when I was putting the stuff, the products in my hair over the bowl, I didn't feel like I was really getting much extras coming out into the bowl for whatever reason. I'm not sure. It Was it my hair type? Was it my product application? Was it my water application? I'm not sure. But I just feel like I didn't have as much to dunk in. I And therefore I didn't get up in my crown area as much because I didn't have that extra to dunk the crown of my head in. So I feel like this area has suffered because of that. But I'm not overall mad at my results. I just don't see this being a practice that I use very much. Um, I do have, like I said, I feel like I have some really pretty curls. I'm just not sure they're going to hold up. As I said, I'm, it's going to be hot and humid these next couple days. I have to be out in the elements a fair amount. I am playing away in my yard tonight. So I just don't even know if this is going to hold up for tomorrow that well. So, okay, curl friends, I decided to show up for day two results and they held up better than I was expecting. These are my day two results, and I'll turn around. I forgot to do that yesterday, sorry. It probably doesn't look a whole lot different, but I'll turn around real quick. So a couple things to note. One, I'm noticing the frizz really didn't get much more than what it was yesterday. And in fact, I think the um, putting the serum on helped. And also I used hairspray. As I've said before, I use hairspray almost every single time. So it's just, it's something I have to do for my hair, I feel like to keep it, to keep me from having to wash it or pull it up all the time. So it's just something I do and I will continue to do. Now, the other thing is the Curlsmith products that I used, I think they work really well with this um, with this method. I was a little hesitant because I, if you remember before when I was applying them, I was like, mm, sometimes Curlsmith products make my hair a little stringy and I didn't have that. And I think 
all the water that I had in my hair really helped that. So I am liking that. My curls are still like really thick clumps and I have continued to pull them apart throughout yesterday and some today separating them. Um, they didn't shrink up like I thought they were going to and I don't know if that's due to like the water weight that I had earlier as they dried. They just dried elongated a little bit more. Like I said, I still had expected them to shrink, but they didn't. And then the other thing to note that I forgot to finish up with or follow through with yesterday, the dry time. For that, my hair, I usually diffuse my hair to about 90% dry and that takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes at the most. This time it took me about a half hour to diffuse my hair plus a little additional air drying time. So I, I dried my hair for a while, or I diffused my hair for a while and then I let it air dry while I did a few things around the house, I ate some, and then I went back to diffusing my hair for about another 10 minutes. And so it did take longer. And I mean, that's to be expected with all the water that was in my hair. So like I said, this held up better than I thought. So I'm pretty pleasantly surprised with it. I still don't think it's a routine I'm really going to do. I mean, I'll make sure that sometimes if I feel like it to have my hair more soaking wet to have um, products in, but I still don't really see myself bending over a bowl to do this and scrunching this many times. So just my thoughts and I'll finish up the video. All right, girlfriends, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I would love to know your thoughts and comments down below and let me know if this is something that you would like to try if you haven't already. I would love to know, like, like I said, do you see yourself trying this maybe? And because I definitely think it would work well for certain people, certain curl types. And then if you have already tried it, I would love to hear your thoughts down below or your experiences. Do you feel like it helped enhance your curl pattern? And did it help with product distribution? Like I said, I'd love to hear your results. And so let me know in the comments down below. Until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.